Let's talk about the Anansi Goatman story. This is a super old story from 4chan about a family in Alabama that goes camping out in the woods and encounters the Goatman. The person typing the story is a city boy from Chicago, so he doesn't know what to expect when he gets camping. Once they get out in the woods, they stumble upon a man and his son. The man has a shotgun. The man with the shotgun knows the original poster's family, so everything's all good. But Shotgun Man's kid wants to hang out with the boys now. They agree, and now they're all camping in the woods together, but the man gives them a warning. Watch out, I've seen a big animal out here. So now they have friends and family out there. They're playing football, they're messing around, you know. Then later, as the night goes on, they start to smell a bloody substance. You know when you get a nosebleed and you can smell the iron? That's exactly what they're smelling coming from the fire and all around them. Before this, their friends had wandered off looking around the camp. They now hear their friends sprinting back and their friends immediately run into the trailer where the fire is and hide. They all follow suit and do the same thing. They're all screaming to lock the front door. Everybody's crying. Even the rooster that ran inside with them is crying. One of the boys named Tanner said he saw a pig ripped in half. He assumed it was from a coyote, so he didn't really pay attention to that because coyotes usually avoid people. But that's when they started hearing things in the forest. They all point their flashlights to one spot and they could see somebody standing in the hallway in the forest. The weird thing about this is the man is standing backwards and Tanner is saying that they smelt a coppery, irony kind of smell. The same smell they were smelling around the fire. They continue to make their way back to camp, paying no mind to this, and they hear more rustling in the bushes. Once again, they point their flashlight, and it's the man with his back turned towards them again. Now they're getting creeped out, and they're walking faster. And while they're telling the story right now, the smell inside of the trailer is getting stronger and stronger. Tanner and his friends, whoever went with him, started running back to the trailer. That's when they heard all of this noise all around them in the forest. Right before they got to the trailer, they saw the backwards-facing man hauling ass towards them. And at this point, they're just assuming it's just some rednecks pulling a prank on them out in the forest. However, one of them brought up the goat man. Apparently, one of the Native American children around the area was telling him about the goat man that lives out in the forest here. Whether this thing is the goat man or a skinwalker, both are equally terrifying. After Jonathan is done claiming it's the goat man, the scent suddenly vanishes out of thin air. And it's not just a slow fade out, it is just instantly gone. At 9 or 10 p.m., they decide to go back outside, and it's normal. They decide to commit to camping, so they all go around the fire, start drinking. And that's when the smell comes back super strong. It even made two of the girls throw up. And apparently, the air around them was clammy. They all get up and go back inside of the trailer. They all just want to leave. They wish they left. They cook up some bratwurst in the cabin. Everyone gets a piece. There's 12 sausage links. But as everyone's eating, something weird happens. One of the girls screams, oh Jesus, get it out right now. There were only supposed to be 11 of them. But there were 12 people inside of that trailer. The even scarier thing, that extra person had been with them for an extra day. The goat man, the skinwalker, whatever you wanna call it was with them and they had no idea. Half of them get tired and pass out. They explained to the girl screaming what had happened and she said that somebody grabbed her leg hard, leaned over and whispered something that she could not understand. It sounded like demonic gibberish to her. About half of the crew leaves and some of them stay behind because it's their uncle's cabin and they have to lock it up. The girl who had been touched by the goat man, Kira, is now standing at the fireplace with her back turned towards the trailer. Kira was also one of the people that decided to leave. So is this goat man or is this Kira? And they can smell a twinge of iron and copper in the air. They decide to tell Kira to get back in the trailer slash cabin right now. So she comes back to the cabin and then 20 minutes later, they hear crazy banging on the side of one of the doors. This time it's Tanner screaming, let me in right now. Tanner said on his way back to the cabin, there was some girl staring at him. She was tracking his movements and getting closer every step of the way. They do a head count of everyone in the trailer now. There are supposed to be eight of them. There are only seven now. They all start arguing and freaking out, trying to figure out what's going on, who's the goat man, who's missing. Some random guy then shows up to the cabin and asks, where's your little friend? He was referring to the girl that Tanner saw on the trail that was stalking him. He said he kept asking her questions, but she never replied. She just stared at him. They wait around for a few hours and at 11 o'clock, it starts smelling like actual blood and singed hair all over the place. And then there's a half knocking, half clawing at the door. It was described like it was uncanny valley, like you taught an animal how to speak. It said, let me in, stop playing but it did not sound human at all. They keep asking, who is it? And it just keeps saying, in, in. Then they said the scent slowly fades away and you can hear someone creeping around the woods. They get out, they fire shots into the air and say, go away. Then you can hear a woman and a cat combined screaming and hissing while the shots are going off. They obviously pissed this thing off and now it's crawling towards the cabin, hissing and screaming. 
This thing hadn't come back until everyone fell asleep. Tanner was guarding the door with a rifle when he woke up to somebody using the bathroom in the cabin. He said the person just got on the floor and went to sleep, and when he counted, there was nine, not eight. Tanner said this thing would heave and laugh and do a weird jittery thing and then go back to sleep. When they all woke up, Tanner wouldn't even look at anyone in their face. They all decided to walk back home. When they walked back home, they realized there was nine people still in the group. This thing made dead eye contact with Tanner and then left into the woods. Let me know what you guys think about this creepy pasta. I personally love it.